The artwork is a portrait miniature of Napoleon by Jean Baptiste Isabey, a French painter who specialized in portraits and miniatures. He was one of the most influential artists of the early 19th century, and he had a close relationship with Napoleon, who was his stepfather and brother-in-law through his pupil Hortense de Buhanais. Isabey became Napoleon's court painter and had to produce many portraits of him for official purposes. The portrait miniature was painted in 1810, when Napoleon was still the first consul of France, before he crowned himself as emperor in 1804. He founded the Order of the Iron Crown of Lombardy in 1805, following his coronation as King of Italy. The portrait shows him wearing a black uniform jacket with red piping and gold epaulets, which are symbols of his rank and authority. He also wears the red ribbon and badge of the Legion de Hunia, which he received from King Louis XVIII in 1810 for his services to France during the Hundred Days Campaign. The badges on his chest are those of the Iron Crown of Lombardy and the Grand Eagle of the Legion de Hunia, which he received from Pope Pius VII in 1805 for his victory over Austria at Austerlitz. The portrait miniature is remarkable for several reasons. First, it shows Napoleon looking younger than he actually was at that time. He was born in 1769 and died in 1821, so he was only 42 years old when this portrait was painted. Second, it shows him surrounded by various objects that reflect his interests and achievements. On his left side, there is a globe with a map of Europe and Africa, indicating his ambition to dominate Europe and Africa. On his right side, there is a book with a title that reads El Art de Lager, The Art of War, which is attributed to Sun Tzu, an ancient Chinese military strategist. This suggests that Napoleon admired this book and considered it as a guide for his military campaigns. On his right hand, there is a sword with a golden hilt and a red cross on it, which is similar to the sword that he used at Austerlitz. On his left hand, there is an eagle with its wings spread out, which is another symbol of his power and glory. The portrait miniature also has some artistic features that make it stand out among other portraits by Isabey or other artists at that time. For example, it has a bright yellow background that contrasts with the dark colors of Napoleon's uniform and hair. This creates a sense of drama and intensity in the composition. It also has some details that add realism and texture to the image, such as the folds on Napoleon's jacket collar or the shadows on his face. Moreover, it has some elements that suggest movement or dynamism in the scene, such as the curve on Napoleon's arm or the tilt on his head. In conclusion, this portrait miniature by John Baptiste Isabey is not only a faithful representation of Napoleon's appearance at that time, but also an artistic masterpiece that showcases Isabey's skill and style as well as Napoleon's personality and achievements.